Hi, good morning and welcome back to The Learning Preserve. Today I would love to talk with you about setting yourself up for success in homeschooling. Set realistic goals. Don't go online and copy someone else's schedule that is super intense and planned out. The ones that have time frames for all the things that should happen in your day. Uh, those, those time frames are too strict. They don't a lot for scraped knees or spilled milk or 30 minutes of you locking yourself in the bathroom so you can reevaluate your life. I promise you, those intense agendas are not going 100% as planned. And if they are, those kids and mine are not from the same tribe. Goals, schedules, and plans are all great to have but just make sure that they're doable so that you're not left feeling like you have failed just because you haven't completed everything that was on your schedule for that day. We use a checklist style of scheduling and if we don't get to something, we just roll it over to the next day. It is really flexible and it works for us. And remember, only compare yourself to your own yesterday. Wow, that just sounded like a fortune cookie. The next thing is don't show up late for work. And what I mean by that is we need to be ready before their little feet even hit the ground in the morning. So whatever that is, whatever that might look like for you, drinking your coffee or tea, reading, showering, hair, makeup, whatever it is that you need to feel your best before the wild rumpus begins. Plan for your next day. Have your materials ready for your lesson. If you have to stop and go find glue sticks, you're gonna lose their attention. I know my kids would even be there when I got back to the table if I left them in the middle of a lesson to go find something. So just try to have all your things together so that your lessons will flow nicely. I also make sure that I study the material the night before so that I look like I know what I'm talking about. Set some daily habits up for yourself and for your children. Get good sleep, and I know if you have a newborn, then you're struggling, but just try to get as much sleep as your current season allows for. Eat healthy food. Now I know what you're thinking. You're getting ready to take advice from an overweight woman, but let me just tell you guys, I gave birth to my metabolism with baby number eight, and if I ever decide to lock up those cookies, I'm gonna have some really dramatic before and after pics. All joking to the side, diet is really important for kids. I know with my kids, if they have too much sugar, they will get really hyper and then they crash and they get really moody. And moody and homework are just two things that do not mix. It affects their productivity. And get them outside and let them have fresh air and sunshine and let them run around and get all their energy out because when they come back inside, they're gonna be calm and they're gonna be able to focus on their studies better. Okay, the last thing I wanted to talk to you about is setting up a calm learning environment. Kids tend to be visual and easily distracted. So you wanna make sure that their learning spaces are just free of chaos. You also wanna be mindful of sound, uh, mainly background noise, whether it be a TV in the back room or your phone's going off. I know a few of my kids have said, mom, it's really distracting when you take calls while we're trying to study. And I didn't even realize that I was being rude to them by answering calls um, or doing emails next to them. So if at all possible, just try to step away from the table so that you are not that distraction to them. I hope my suggestions will help you find your rhythm. And remember mamas, all we can ever do is our best. If you like this video and you found it to be helpful, then click that subscribe button and I would love to chat with you again. See you soon.